Hi guys, what is up? Jesus Place here. And today we'll be talking about the new, <coughs> excuse me, the new piggy update, the cutscene creator. So, um, let's just get into it. Also, you might see that I have just bought a new mic. I bought it just today, I mean yesterday it came, since I'm recording this in the morning. But yeah, let me jump into piggy and tell you about the new cutscene creator. Okay, now that we're joining the build mode, we can, let me tell you all about it. So basically, so I'm gonna just load up a map real quick to showcase it off. I know. So so also you press four, you have all this stuff. You know, easy way to find it. So let me just go into my remade factory. Why not? Also, it's a remake. Not it's not accurate. It's not gonna be accurate. So right now we only have um the cutscenes are only outro cutscenes. You can't have intro cutscenes yet. Okay, so I'm gonna be showcasing this off. First things first. Finally. So hmm, what skin should we have? Alphys or Archie? Hmm. Barry, Clowny, Dakota, oh no. A skin clearly terrifies me. Basically, every single skin terrifies me. Rash? So, yeah, those are all the skins you could select right now. Is there a pony bot? No. Okay, so I'm just keeping this selected, you know. You can select Alphys and then it'll and then the bot will basically spawn as Alphys, no longer as Piggy. Pretty self self explanatory. Makes sense. Pretty easy to understand. Now <clears throat> there's lots of stuff. They there's lots of stuff you can tell the UI is different, but before we get into the actual UI, I want to talk about the options here. So this is player options. Okay. This is the piggy skin you play as in build mode. Yeah, there you got it. This is gonna be the abilities and trap and traps for Piggy. You know, you get it. So abilities are now in bib mode officially. And now this, I'm gonna save for later because it's very cool. And so then it's hard mode off. Yeah, crazy. Yeah. Now that that third icon, I'm gonna save for last. Because it's really interesting and fun to use once you know how to use it. Okay, so now I'll jump into the new blocks events. So they have added in a little patrol point. So what this basically does is once the bot spawns, it will immediately walk to here and to the next one. So that means the bot doesn't know where you are. It will just walk to the next patrol point over and over again until it spots you. So, yeah. So, one. Or two, two. Now, one. Now, this. It's a trap point. So, if the bot walks over this trap point, it will simply place a trap there. So, you can make the bot place infinite traps by, by spamming it. Okay. Do it. Go for it. Now, that's... We also got in a new door I want to show. Oh yeah, we also got safes. And we got vents. And we got uh, one more thing. Conveyor belts and all that. Sound blocks. Yeah. And light block. Events, yeah. Okay. So what this blowtorch door is. So, how do you want to use this? Is after you got the blowtorch door, you need to have the Mimi NPC. Because Mimi is the one that's actually going to unlock it. So, make sure to place a Mimi. Because if you just and take the blowtorch and just use it here, it won't work. You got to give the blowtorch to Mimi. You'll see how it works. And then items, you just got to find the blow. Oh, there it is, blowtorch. There. Now, let me... 
play and show you how it works. Okay. Okay. Why did I show off the player morphs? No, okay, now that you see this, you, you know what the what the I'm gonna explain it. So so see this. If I try to use a blowtorch here, it won't work. However, I give if I give Mimi the blowtorch, it's gonna come here, use a blowtorch, and then the door's gonna unlock. So that's how the blowtorch stuff works. Also, come take a look. It works. Yeah. Alphys terrifies me. He does. So yeah, that, that's that out of the way. I'm so not prepared for this. It's so oh yeah, teleport the player. I forgot all about that feature actually. So before I get into the rest, I actually want to show off my new favorite feature, the cutscene creator. Yep, the cutscene creator. So how do you wanna act so how you can create your own cutscenes is just press four or open up this and you see this little video thing widget. Yeah. Click this, scene one. Okay, now what you want to do is edit it. Now, we can also change the transition here. And the camera fade in and out. Oh, we can also fade in and out. I did not notice that. Okay. So that what? So so these two, I'm gonna show it off in a second. So basically, what this is, I knew we want to add in a new actor. Who do we want to add? We're gonna add in the player model. It's gonna be the player who's playing currently. This is pretty self-explanatory. Don't worry, the model looks like this, but then um, it'll look as you later. So don't worry. It's don't worry. I'm gonna turn the script to it to look like you will look. It's don't worry. So now, um, let me select the player. So now, this is basically where the camera is gonna be. And this is going to be where the camera is going to be pointing at. So we want it to point at the player. There. Now this is that. That's how it's going to work. So that can be like. Ooh la la. Okay. Don't get hashtagged. Good. So that's basically how it works. Music ID. I can show you how it works if you want. If you don't know. There's probably this one person watching this video that's like. How do you use a sound ID? Don't worry. I'm not. I will show you how to use it. So, okay, I'm gonna put on my headphones for this. So, also better make sure that that desktop audio. Okay, good, it's on. So, hmm, see this. So, what you want to do is basically just find an audio here at the library. Again, go to create library. There you go. And audio there. Now, just find a random audio. I'm just gonna do funny music for this. Funny music. Let's see. Let's hear this. <laughs> oh, cause it's peak. How is it applied? Oh, wait, what? Okay, my mic is in. Yeah, I know. Don't tell me you couldn't hear me this whole time. There. Please tell me you could hear me this whole time. Because if you wouldn't, I would freaking rage. Okay. So now let me. Okay, so what you want to do is click on this audio. And then. You go to the URL and you see these random numbers, you want to select them, double click on them, and then right click, and then press copy. And then what you want to do is go back to Roblox, and then paste this, oh, wait, oh, what, 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 paste this ID here, press enter, and then watch. And then, yeah. So now we can exit out the scene. So now instead of recreating the scene, we can just copy it. And then we can also change what the camera's pointing at. We can also get the camera to look right over here instead. 
and then the player we're gonna re we're gonna take another oh okay so then we're gonna take Baron <coughs> and place him right over here and then we're gonna select Baron here and he's gonna do that <laughs> boy paste that in nice so that's basically it. So now, um, if you want to test out your cutscene and see how it works, press this little I. Once we build our cutscene. Oh la la! See, it works. Hey, hey boy. So that's basically how the cutscene creator works. So yeah, <clears throat> this cutscene will only play once the escape is open. So don't worry. You don't have to press anything once you created your cutscene. You can just. Close this off and don't worry. Oh well. Okay, so yeah. So that's that. The cutscene creator out of the way. Now let's now let's get back to the events there. Now safes, let me show you how the safes work. Events <coughs> purple. So then what you wanna do, once you place the purple safe, you wanna click this. And then what item will be inside the safe, you're going to have to customize here. Like, for example, I want the green key card in here. So confirm. And now all we got to do, I got to find the purple key. Place it right by it. And then we can test it out. Play. But, now watch. We're just going to simply test it out normally. Okay, so now what you want to do is click this. Simple enough. That's how it works. Now that we've done it, I can just stop the game. Why did he not kill me? Okay, that's a bit weird. <laughs> Alright, let's get back to the video right away. Yeah, so that's how the safes work. You saw the blowtorch. Now, the sound block. So now, here. Here, we're gonna have the sound block in here, apparently, because, um, yeah. So, basically, the sound block works the same way as the sound ID. I'm just gonna show you what to do. So, I'm pretty sure it's in events. No, it is not. Oh, it is, yeah. There it is. Invisible sound box. What you want to do is place it anywhere you like. Don't, that doesn't really matter. Then come to it, click this, and the volume. Max a volume is two. It's two, I thought. It's two, right? Yeah. And then the sound ID. What you want to do is delete this. Paste the sound ID we got together. Again, the same way to get the sound ID. Just then, just paste it in here. Press enter. Then you have the pitch, then we can loop it. And max distance, how much you can hear it. Now, just press confirm. And now, let's play and test it out. I forgot about that. Why do I keep forgetting about that? So what you want to do is just get closer to the sound block. My volume off. Before you... The farther you get, the, you know, let's do try out this. You thought I, I died. Okay, so yeah, that's how the sound block works. Okay. It's pretty loud, so you can change the volume. So yeah, I'm just to leave this. And you can, again, you can make it any sound ID you like. You don't have to use my, um, Sound as long as it's an audio, and you do it the the way I showed you. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to work. So let me turn off the volume back here, cause you know. Okay. So that's that. We got that out of the way. Is there any other thing I wanted to show you guys before this? Yeah, there's a, also a light block, like a conveyor belt. Pretty self-explanatory. The conveyor belt from the factory. You know what it is. Just pushes you that way. Pretty 
pretty normal, pretty self-explanatory. Again, you know. So yeah, that's the conveyor belt. Now, where is this light block? Because that's a really nice feature to talk about. Also, yeah, we got fans. Yeah, we gotta get the wrench. So what you wanna do is just get the oop. Okay. What you wanna do is just get the random vent. Yep, there's the vent. Yep. And then what you wanna do for this vent, you just need a wrench to unlock it, like so. So items, let's get a wrench. So wrench here, put it in front of it, why not, right? Right, do you please tell me I did because I couldn't resist Oh yeah, either way I turned off the volume. So it doesn't really matter. But Hello Hello lag and my <sighs> I hate lag. Oh yeah, I, I shouldn't do that because I'm recording on desktop. What is this? I'm just gonna... Let's ignore it. Let's just ignore it. Okay, go to book two. Like so. Ooh. Well, not, not book two, but build! Oh my... I'm stupid. Oh yeah, there's also player morphs. So this is basically player morphs. So you can morph into anything. Like this is a default avatar you would have. Like let's just say I want to um morph into Mimi while I start playing. So I'm just gonna select Mimi. Let's load up the reboot factory again. Load remake factory. Okay. Okay, now let me change oh actually the basket doesn't matter to um okay. Okay, okay uh okay um yeah the light block. Also I told you about the player morphs. So as I said, let's continue with it. You select Mimi, then you just play, you know that. And then you just spawn as Mimi. You just spawn as the player morph you picked. Pretty simple. Uh, let let's see if this happens with Peppa Pig. No, Peppa Pig won't bug, of course, but Alpha's way. Why is that Alfie? Yeah, my custom sewer things I built up here don't work up here. This is a memo spot. Okay, let's get back to the player spawn. Good. So yeah, now light block. Oh, where is it? I have no idea. Is this it? No, that's not invisible blocks. Oh, where would they? Oh, they're probably in light. There it is. Custom invisible light blocks. So what you want to do is just place it somewhere. You can edit it. And the thing is, is RBG. So RBG. So wait, let me click the delete that to one. Oh, wait, this one to two. Okay. So now RBG. RBG stands for red, green, blue. So how much blue? So if I just want it to be just blue, then just G will be zero and red will be zero. And then brightness. Let's see what's the max brightness. It's two. Okay. A range will be nine and nine and one. Sixty. Okay, confirm that. It's a blue pot now, eh? Because thanks to this block, now everything is blue. So yeah. Pretty nice update. Really changed a lot. Also added abilities. I think you saw. Maybe if you did not, you can replay the video on me testing. So yeah, that's about it. Or if we okay, let me just quickly finish it up. If you don't know what RBG is and you don't want to learn, then just 
and you want to make it gray, right? So then just search up in Google, what the RBG code of gray? Something like that, you know, we just search it up. My internet sucks. Load up internet! I shouldn't say that that loud, but... Seriously? Your connection was interrupted? Do I freaking care? I'm right now in the process of recording a video. Why should I care right now? Or it's because I just have too many tabs. It might be that temporary error. I don't. Does it look like you freaking care if it's an error or not? That's becoming the last video, so it's a failure, and I didn't upload it because of lag. Okay, let's let's retry that. What? Let me. Wow. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to wrap up the video here while I go ahead and I guess have to enable the router again. So, hope you guys have a great day. See y'all later. And yeah, bye!